Hi, this is Tracy H. Dan. I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I will be reviewing the Animal Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And this will be a 78 card deck, including a guidebook. Uh, very well made box, first of all. Very, very nice packaging. And I just received these about a half an hour ago. So I'll be reviewing these for the first time as I'm seeing them as well. And here we have a nice guidebook, okay, nice heavy uh, cover, okay, matte finish. And inside the guidebook, we have our table of contents, how to work with the animal tarot cards. I'm going to give you some card spreads. Uh, meanings of the cards, the major arcana, very small picture of the card here, and a description. Okay. And it's going to go through all 78 cards like this with a picture and the description. And a very nice guidebook. The guidebook is about 100 and, let's see, about 189 pages. Tells you a little about Doreen Virtue and, of course, Radley Valentine. So very well-made guidebook. Uh, just enough information, not too little and not too much on each of the cards. And let's take a look at the cards. Let me just take this off. Okay, and these are rather large cards. Very good, strong card stock. Uh, very shiny, glossy finish to them. Okay, and we have this beautiful... A picture on the back. We have the cat with the crown sitting on the throne. And let's take a look at the cards. And very large cards. They cover my entire hand. I'm definitely going to have to be trimming the sides off of these to size them down a bit and make the pictures pop as well. Here we have Zero, the Dreamer, okay, which would normally be the Fool. The Shepherd Puppy, and it says, You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. One, the Magician. We have a unicorn. And it says, uh, There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. Number two, the High Priestess. And it will be an owl. Three, the Empress. And a rabbit. Perfect for fertility, uh, a rabbit is the symbol on this card. The emperor, number four, is the deer mouse. Five, unity, is the polar bear. Six, the lovers, we have two flamingos here. What a beautiful, beautiful picture. The energy is very gentle uh, with these cards as well. And I like the fact that it's an animal theme, uh, which is different from all of the themes that are out there. Uh, we have the chariot, justice, the elephant, and the scales of justice. Firefly, how beautiful and magical is that? The hermit, we're used to the hermit holding the lantern, and of course we still here have the lantern. Ten is the wheel, the wheel here. Eleven is strength, we always have the lion, symbolic of the strength card. Twelve, awakening, the giraffe. 13, release, peacock. 14, balance, which would be the zebra. 15, ego, Siamese cat. 16, life experience. 17, the star, which is an oriole. 18, the moon. 19, the sun. 20, renewal, the raccoon family there. 21, the world, the Shetland sheepdog. Ace of spring, white tiger. Two of spring, which would be the pelican. Three of spring would be sea turtle. Four of spring is the otters. Five of spring is the ram. Six of spring is is a rescue dog, uh, such as any mixed breed rescue dog. Seven of spring, which would be the gecko. Eight of spring, which would be the bees. 
Nine of Spring is the gazelle. Ten of Spring is the St. Bernard, and I grew up with a dog that looked exactly like this. Princess of Spring, the monarch butterfly. Prince of Spring, the dolphin. Queen of Spring is the Persian cat. King of Spring would be the Katanga lion. And then we go into the Ace of Summer. And these cards are also color-coded, as you can see. This is a, like a burgundy color. These are going to be like a teal, turquoise type of color. Uh, Ace of Summer would be the dove. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, rebirth in a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So the summer would be the cups. And of course, we have the water, which would be the sign of the cups, the emotions. Two of summer, the lovebirds. Three of summer, the hummingbirds. Four of summer, the tortoise. Five of summer, dragonfly. Six of summer, goose. Seven of summer, Maine Coon Kitten. Eight of summer, the kangaroo. Nine of summer, Pomeranian. Ten of summer, the prairie dog. Then we have the princess of summer, which is the deer. Okay, so normally this would be like a page. They're listing it as a princess. And then the prince of summer, I would imagine, would be the knights. Queen of summer would be a queen with the swan. King of Summer with penguins. Then it goes into the Ace of Winter, and it would be the panda, and it's this implementation of your brilliant new idea. May get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goods into something even better. The Ace of Winter. We have the Two of Winter, which would be the Dachshund Dogs. Three of Winter, the Rose Breasted Grosbeak. Four of winter, the koala, okay, saying uh, thoroughly thinking things through before making a decision, continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get anywhere, closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. How beautiful the messages are on these cards. Five of winter would be the collie dog, six of winter, the rescue cat, and of course any mixed breed. Seven of Winter, the Magpie. Eight of Winter, Bunting, the beautiful birds. Nine of Winter, the Sea Lion. Ten of Winter, the Siberian Husky Dog. So the Winter, I believe, would be Swords, Princess of Winter, Prince of Winter, the Thoroughbred Horse, Queen of Winter would be leopard. The king of winter would be the humpback whale. And then we go into the green coated cards. We have the ace of autumn with this beautiful calico cat. And it says you can expect a mindful or a windfall <laughs> of abundance such as money, timely assistance, or serendipities, meetings, or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Beautiful. Two of Autumn, okay, and it says you may be under stress because of multiple jobs uh, or how many responsibilities for one person to manage. So these are the pentacles, these green coated cards, uh, the pentacles. So uh, they're using the word Autumn instead of pentacles or coins. Three of Autumn is the miniature poodle dog. Four of Autumn is the squirrel. Five of Autumn would be the manatee. Six of Autumn, kiwi. Seven of Autumn, cow. Eight of Autumn, parrot. Nine of Autumn, ragdoll cat. Ten of Autumn, golden retriever. And I love golden retrievers. How beautiful. Princess of Autumn, which would be page of pentacles or coins, whichever you refer to, would be the tabby cat. Prince of Autumn would be like the knight of coins or pentacles, which is the seahorse. Love this card. 
Queen of Autumn, the Belgian Hare, and the King of Autumn, Gypsy Vanner Horse. So very, very beautiful cards, uh, gorgeous artwork, gentle messages, gentle energy. Uh, let's see how they are to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. Oops. <laughs> and the Princess of Winter wanted to jump out. And uh, very nice purchase. Uh, very satisfied. These would be perfect for a beginner since you have your messages on the bottom. Maybe a little tricky with the uh, seasons instead of, you know, the suits and stuff. But th that's what the guidebook is here for. So you have everything you need in this beautiful guidebook. Very satisfied with my purchase. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.